The currency in the Wild West is horrible. Let me explain. Going back to May 22nd, 2021, a simpler time in the Wild West, the most expensive item in the game was the Hartford Rifle, coming in at $12,000, or about 25 minutes of grinding, whether that's hunting or mining, whatever you would rather do at that point. Then, all of a sudden, the next day, the auction house is added, with all these rare items that you could bid on. So cool! The cheapest new auction gun was the Guy Cut Chain Pistol, starting at $20,000, just an $8,000 difference from the next cheapest item, which was the Hartford at the time. I mean, that's not too bad, but it is still a large jump. $8,000 is a lot. Then you have to account players bidding for these items. It starts at $20,000, but it will go up. As of today, the Guy Cut Chain Pistol is selling at the auction house from anywhere between $40,000 and $60,000. That's a massive jump from the Hartford. And there lies my first point. There is no items in the middle price category. We go from a pretty decent rifle to a pistol that at the time shot 20 rounds. And once you ran out of ammo, you had to pray to the Lord, because it took 10 to 15 seconds to reload this gun, this pistol. The funniest thing about it is that the damage it deals. You might as well start punching the person you're dueling before taking out this hunk of junk. This thing could not kill anything, unless you get really lucky with headshots. My point isn't that this pistol sucks, I think it's okay, but it definitely should not be at this price in the auction house. And honestly, I don't know what the devs could really do about it, like the jump between items and how the auction house isn't really balanced at all. Let's move on to Exhibit B, Trading. Say you bought this guy cut chain pistol and realized that it was not worth the $45,000 you paid for it. You remember that the Wild West has this amazing feature of trading, where you can trade any auction item for other rare items or even cash. This is awesome! Well, here's the problem. The trading community is actually a dumpster. Seriously. For instance, I was trying to make uh, enough money to buy every horse in the game for this video. I was offering my whole guy cut chain set for only $50,000, which is basically dirt to compare it on how much they sell in the auction house. And these people were saying it was a waste, and they were trying to get me to sell it for $40,000, saying that it's not worth their money for a whole guy cut chain set for $50,000. Let me give that a second to sink in. And if you say, well, maybe you only tried one server, then you'd be wrong. I made posts in the Star Wars Studios Discord server many times and server hopped to like maybe like 20 servers trying to get a few pennies for my auction items. I just don't understand this trading community. But most of the people I encountered, I would explain like, hey, this is selling for a lot of money in the auction house and I'm giving you like half of what it's worth. So like take this and people would basically say, well... I'd rather get it from the auction house, and how the trading works is the auction house is worth more. That makes no sense. You're getting an, a brand new cereal. That's horrible. My cereals were pretty high on the guy cut chain set, but that's still a lot cheaper than the brand new cereal you're getting for the auction house item. It does not make any sense to me. Alright, let's move on to exhibit C. Grinding. I won't lie, I enjoyed grinding for money back in the good old days, since you only hunted for like 15 minutes and you could buy any item in the game. Well, now hunting is horrible. The most immersive and decent way of making money was nerfed, and it wasn't a little nerf, no. They made it so animals' spawn times are changed based on the server size, and the spawn locations were randomized. Well, that's just hunting. There are many other good ways to make money in the Wild West, such as mining. And oh my god, this is the worst thing I've ever done in a video game ever. Mining is so boring. You run around a planned area for five minutes and sell your loot for $5,000. If you're lucky enough not to get killed. And nearly half the time I spend grinding is just trying to find a server where all the silver and gold is not gone. Like seriously, please starboard, make hunting good so that everyone isn't just mining to make money, please. We need like people to get scattered around the map, not just hitting a rock over and over again in the same exact location. It's so painful. When you think of the Wild West, an image probably comes to mind, an outlaw. Some of the most popular western games are based on being an outlaw, such as Red Dead Redemption 2, and robbing the bank and stuff. But not in the Wild West! If you want to try and make money robbing the Bronze City Bank, then you'll have to do a lot of things. One, buy dynamite so you can actually blow up in the vault with the gold, which is like the only thing worth it in the bank. Two, have a decent firearm on you. As soon as you open this door, you're going to see the entire, entire server trying to get your bounty. Now, if you have the dynamite and a good gun, go ahead and rob the bank. Let's say you somehow don't get killed while collecting all of the loot. 
Nah, you gallop on your good old horse, and you make, like, $1,500. Like, what? What? I just spent five minutes robbing this place, dodging bullets, and riding up to this outlaw post, only to make enough money to buy, like, nothing. Like, what can I buy? A Lamat? Star Wars Studios have said that they will be redoing the, um, robbery system. But, like, for now, it is not worth it. None at all. All I'm gonna do now is let my brain rot while I mine up all these silly stones in the water cavern. But that's not the best way you can make money in the Wild West. The best way is subscribing to Soybeans so you can possibly be entered in the video challenges where you can win up to $100,000 in the Wild West money. Yes, that's a lot of money. So just subscribe. It's a chance at free money. And I emphasize, it's a chance. You are not 100% going to be entered. It's a big chance. All right, thank you all so much for watching this video. I just wanted to explain why the current like economy in the Wild West is actually horrible. See ya.